Hi everyone, Santa from Scraps the Beauty, and it is Sunday, and we are continuing with our brushes. I went ahead and glued everything on so we'd be able to paint it today and finish it. Uh, I have a couple things to share before we get going. Um, I did get some new molds. I'll just share that while we're waiting for everybody to come in. And I have my autofocus on because I want to, I'll shut it off after. I want to show the close-up of the brushes. So just wait for everybody to pop in. Let's just fix my screen. So let me put these over here. So this is one of the new molds I got there. You can see that. That's the um, Phoenix from uh, Hi Gale, Harry Potter. Uh, also got another mermaid one. There you can see that one, mermaid. Uh, this is a Primo uh, mold. So I got that. And this, hi Joan, that one. And then this is Stamparia's uh, mold with a big giant wing. I love that one with the wing. Hi Joyce. Hmm. So I did pour some of those. This one's really pretty. I don't know if you can see you that up close. There she is. So I could get it to focus would be nice. Since I do have the auto focus on. <laughs> Maybe not. Hi, hey, Jeannie. So I'm going to show you really close. I wanted to get them all glued on so that we could work on the brushes. Although I did just glue this one on. So let's see if I can get this to focus. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, almost. Maybe if I put it on here. I'm debating whether to cut this little piece off. I might cut this piece off here. <laughs> All right, so let's see maybe if that will focus. There we go. And can you see these parts here are little watch parts? I put them in there and in here and in there. So they're from um, an actual watch. Come on. I just had it focused before. Come on. <laughs> My gosh, it's so annoying. There we go. Kind of. And then you can see I put the tiny little fish in here and the tiny little fish down in here. So they'll be able to hopefully show up. Come on. Oh my gosh, there we go. You can see that one. Little fish. Hi, Patty. <laughs> so that's the one we're going to. I think we're going to work on the seahorse one and hopefully we have enough time to do that one because I just did glue that on there. So that's that one, the mermaid. And then this one. Hi, Karen. Welcome. You love the mermaid? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and then this one, I can't decide whether I, whether I should add these on to that wing or not. And then this one is the seahorse. And I did the same thing. I took the little watch parts. You can see there I added some in here and there. See if I can get there. That one focused pretty well. And then there. And I had the little diver. Can you see the little diver there? Come on, focus. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> so what do you think? Should I put this one on or not? I can't decide whether I should add this, add that on or not. Uh, Thanks, Joan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had I spent yesterday probably a good two hours trying to glue everything on because you can't. I don't know how those girls did it on on Finn's um, live stream where they were gluing everything on and still working around it because <laughs> uh, you definitely need the stuff to hang on there. Hey, Dorothy. So, so I'm thinking I'm going to put this on there. I think I'm going to put that on there. So let's, I got to get some glue back out. Hold on. Where's my gel? Hi, Kimberly. So we'll just have to be careful with that part. Just glue this on really quick. Hi, Gilly. <laughs> I just have to wipe that other stuff off. I need a uh, 
If I have to use the heat gun, we'll use the heat gun if we have to. The hardest thing is to decide what color now to, to, to put all it. If I should go actual steampunk or do more blue and green. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> I was lurking at Patty's. I like Robin's new, um, she was showing Robin McClendon's new um, May uh, Digitals. I love the one that's, um, the one that's all swirly. What's that one called? And there's a lot of them this month. I think she said 16 or so. Is that right? Can you know which resins you use for your pieces? Yes. The resin I used was on the wing. And the mermaid is a resin. Uh, I'm trying to think about anything else. Oh, this. I'll show you this. Um, it's like a rope. Uh, the marble papers. Yeah, that's it, Patty. I really like that one. I, I like it because it's like um, all different kinds of browns. So... Oh, and then I have something else to show, too. I have some happy mail to show before we get going. So we'll let that dry a little bit. So I'll show you. You can't hardly see it. But can you see this piece here? This is like a piece of rope. Let's see if I can get it to focus. That's a Bima mold, and um, that's resin. Yeah, there you go. Can you see that one? So that's resin. This one is paper clay. This one is resin. The resin is... Um, so nice and white and smooth. Hi, Devon. Um, and you don't have to worry about dropping it. Like, you know, that's the only problem I think with the paper clay. As long as you're going to put it on something flat, it's okay. But like something like, like the mermaid's tail, I'd be afraid if, um, if I did that out of paper, that that would, that would break. I'm actually going to cut this part off. The scoop is stupid. Yeah, I like him in the scoop. I'm actually going to cut this part off. This is part of the seaweed. It was like a big giant seaweed. But I don't think I'm going to add that on there. I hope they can get that off. No problem. And the nice thing is you can still cut the resin. You know, like I could put this somewhere else if I wanted to. But... Uh, Steampunk on the horse, yes. Well, I'm going to do, I want them both to kind of match, but um, so I'm debating, I'm thinking about doing more like the blue and green, mint green on the mermaid, and then on the seahorse doing more of the copper and rust color. So we're going to do this one first. Just have to be careful of that. I might take the heat gun to it. But first, I want to show um, some happy mail I got. Um, and the store, I don't really have anything new. Probably end of the week, beginning of the week, I've got some new Stamperia um, stamp chipboard coming. I've got the Diver. If you saw, they have um, E-Academy starting tomorrow where all the teachers are teaching different classes. And one of them, one of the guys is doing the Scuba Diver. I think it's like a mini album. Thanks, Kimberly. Uh, what brand of resin? I use the Amazing, the one, uh, let me see, I have one on my phone, I think. It's called Amazing Casting. Let me see, I'll show you. I got it at uh, Michael's. So hold on, I'll show you. I just shared it with Joan. Hopefully I have it here. Hold on. Um, and here, this one. Can you see that one there? It's called Amazing Two-Part Clear coating and casting resin. The nice part about it is it turns white. Can you see that there? There we go. There you go. <laughs> you love the diver you want it. Uh, that came in a piece of chipboard that I had. Um, I'm trying to think who the company is. Let's see. It's this company here. Um, scrap scrap anemic so you can see that so if you go on uh their website i don't think she has a website on here does she oh yeah there it is www.scrapanic.pl.pl can you see that there yeah and uh so i got this one the steam i got a couple steampunk i got some fish um they have some really cool cool chipboards and they're nice and thin they're not really thick you found it on Amazon? Yeah, Amazon has it too. Yeah. The only nice thing about Michael's is you can use a coupon. <laughs> um, 
All right, so happy mail first. Um, oh, so like I was saying, the E Academy for Stamperia um, is starting tomorrow. Uh, I think they'll roll out all the information and stuff. But um, so I have this diver, the chipboard diver. I think got the big gears like uh, Colleen showed, uh, the big chipboard uh, gears. I'm trying to think what else is coming. A couple new paper pads. Eileen, your Wonderland pad hopefully will be here next weekend. So. So yeah, so just check that out. So, so this is how. Um, let me. I have to block my address here first. Hold on. So first, I've got um, happy mail from Janet. She always decorates her. She always decorates her. I'm trying to get my finger in there. Decorates her envelopes. Thank you. Put a diver one for you. Okay, Eileen. Um, that looks like a good little mini album, doesn't it? That he's doing. So, of course, she sent me some of her circles. I asked her for some. <laughs> so, I got some of those. Um, and then she also gave me um, the napkin. And she's supposed to be sending me uh, some of these. But I love this mermaid napkin here. So, um, hopefully, um, Ann said she had three of them. So, she'll send me those. Um, and then um, she sent me the, she said she wouldn't use this Timmy uh, mermaid scale. So I have one, but what I like to do is I like to cut the, the frame off of it and use it separate. So yeah, it looks like a great mini album. It does. Um, and then I got this from Happy Diane. Um, so I love this uh, mermaid. Can you see the mermaid here? Stamp. I already used it on the tags for the shop. So if you, might, if you get a tag for me, oh, this is what it looks like. So there you can see that. So you wind up giving me that. Um, and then she gave me this one with the eyes, the stamp with the eyes. Cute. Uh, I love these. I love these feathers. Um, and I'm doing the fairy um, mini class with uh, Katrina. So they'll come in handy. I think she gave me two, yeah. She gave me a small, I think a small set and a big set, yeah small one so she gave me that thank you diane perfect timing um she gave me a cute little mermaid die then she gave me some tea bags which i love i forget who was using who was using tea bags i think it was colleen wasn't it oh my gosh and then of course she's been sending people um pictures i don't even know if i show show these pictures <laughs> Uh, let's see. There's CB, if you know CB, and myself. This is Happy Diane and me. <laughs> and then she sent me some beautiful cards. Um, I love this. Let me take this. I'll put these back. Oh, and then she sent me another cute little, another cute little die. <laughs> and then some silvery thread, silver and gold thread. Let me stick that back in there. And then this cute little, cute little wood uh, inspiration quote. Listen to the current of your heart. <laughs> um, but her cards are so pretty. She makes um, beautiful cards. So does um, Teresa. I had Teresa's too. I don't know what I did with it. But I get a card from Teresa every month. And her cards are beautiful as well. So here she used, um, she bought the Cosmo um Die cuts. I love what she did here. She took the new stickles. Um, oh, I just forgot to show a card from Happy Diane Teresa, right? <laughs> I know. I had I took Teresa's out specifically. I thought I threw it in that box and I didn't. But Teresa always sends some beautiful cards. But I love how she used the stickles on top of that. That's the black one. There we go. And then she wrote me a cute little note in the back. And then I love this, how she used uh, the little leaves. And that's, this is the paper everybody's going crazy over. Look how cute that card is. She's got some nice shiny paper behind there. Some bling. <laughs> I love that. And then she made this one. You know, she loves her stickles. Stickles. She always sings her stickles. So she has stickles on the dress form there. Come on, there we go. Hi, Brenda. So thank you, Diane, for the happy mail and oh, three cards. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Um, that. Oh, and then I wanted to show you, of course, 
this is a mermaid for um, the month of May. And uh, Jane, at 8 o'clock at night, every night she's doing a, um, like a mini tutorial of uh, mermaid, her prompts. So if you go to her Facebook page or her blog, you can see it on her blog. Um, she has some mermaid prompts. I have them here. You guys remember that one? Uh, so if you want to take a screenshot of them, you can. Oh, here we go. So this is um, her prompts there. You can see them there if you want to take a screenshot and play along. So yesterday I did the first one, but I didn't paint the first one yet. <laughs> first one was this one, ladies in waiting. I haven't been able to get back to paint it. I did. Uh, come on. It doesn't like the white. <laughs> doesn't like the white. Um, but I did this one yesterday. Come on. We can focus it now. There we go. So I wound up using the new stickles on the tail. And this one is called Diving Bells. And I use the new Vicki Booten uh, stencil. And then this is a stamp of uh, Jane to Norwal. And then I love the, uh, this is my mermaid tail, my handmade watercolor. It's got some glitter in it. Let's see if I can get the glitter to show you. Yeah, there we go. So that's, uh, I only have a few of those left. I don't know if I'll be able to make any more because uh, Kramer Pigments is closed in New York City. Luckily, Patty gave me some, and I have to make some rose gold, so I kind of don't want to do the mermaid's tail. I um, want to do my rose gold first, or Patty's rose gold. But, yeah, so I really like that. So that was uh, yesterday. Then today's was uh, Princess of Wales. So there's my little... Well, you see his belly's got all nice sparkly on there. And then she's got um, some gold. She's got some red in her hair. And then I put some stickles on the tail. Use it for whatever you can. <laughs> That's true. Um, but she came out cute. I like her little face. Her little face came out pretty cute. Um, but I love the sparkliness in his belly. Kind of cute. And then in the background, I just sprinkled some salt. And then it was, look how cute this, they came out like hearts. They look like two little hearts. So I wind up, I wind up um, drawing little hearts on that part. <laughs> cute. So and then tomorrow is Tall Tales, which I haven't drawn that one yet. So, so I'll do that one on this side. But um, I'm trying to make them so that there are, I don't go over, it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, but it took me like at least an hour hour or two maybe for those so what i want to do is try to sketch ahead three or four pages and then this way you can just go ahead and um print it all right so i think that was all the news i had let me just check oh thank you <laughs> thanks everyone whale tail yep yeah. <laughs> all right so i think we're going to do i think i said we're going to do the seahorse first so yeah, so I did cut that off. I like that better. Um, and what I want to try to do is keep her still gold, but paint this all black. So we'll see. I might have to do both while we have them both out. Let me get some paper. What we'll do is, oh, let me shut the autofocus off now for you guys. Let me just get my camera. Thanks, Don. <laughs> Anybody else doing mermaid this year? Uh, let me see. I have to get my camera. Hold on a second. I'm not looking at the chat. Get the camera set up. Take that away. I think Kathy Arbor said she might do it. I'd love to see her main her mermaid. She's such a good painter. Um, I don't know who else. I don't know if Kathy Burke said she was going to do it. It's a lot because I have. Um, I just started the class, the fairy class yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, Friday. Um, anything. You might do a few mermaids, but not every day. That's good. Um, but it's a lot. And then plus I have like my dining room's a mess. I got to clean it up. <laughs> so, uh, you're doing some gilly. Oh, I love to see it. Do you post them on Instagram? I'll have to check it out. All right. So we need a paintbrush. Oh, I think I left my paintbrush. So I might want to hear this. So let's see if I could take the autofocus off and maybe bring you down a little bit. So let's see. Let 
Okay, that's off. Let's see if we can bring you in a little. That's better. That's it. only one. I don't know why I cannot bring you guys in one. Not every day. Yes, IG. Okay, good. Uh, take a look. All right. So, and I don't want to paint all the bristles. I would like to leave some of the bristles. Well, so we'll see. I have this little bit of um, her gesso, and I want to try to finish it. I don't think there's enough in here. So, let's see if we can. It might be even hard as a rock. I don't even know. Oh, I don't know if it's any good. Look at. Can you see that? It's just peeling, peeling right off. I don't think this is any good. Let's see if there's any in there. I have to put my gloves on first. Where's my little bottle? And I wind up gluing. You see this little stone in there? I took some of the stickles, the one with the stars, and I stuck it under there, so that's not really dry, fully dry yet. And I want to be careful not to put too much paint because I don't want to lose the little watch parts. So let's see how we're going to do that. All right. So let's see. Is there anything in here? There is, but it's kind of like... I don't know, it's like gooey. There's just a little bit left at the bottom. That's why you got to use your stuff, though. Look at it. I mean, I've had it for I don't know how long, a while. And then don't let me forget, I want to add some of these, these little um, beads. At the end, don't let me forget. I have the big ones and the medium ones. I see B. <laughs> I just showed our picture. Happy Diana did get gifted me. <laughs> All right, so let's put this one here. I don't really want to do the seahorse too much. I want to leave some of that gold on there. But I didn't want to paint this. I could have painted it before. But I wanted you to be able to see all the different pieces that were, were there. Paula tweeted that she's going to start streaming again. Oh, when? Starting tomorrow? Really, Eileen? What time did she say? I have to get the wipe out too. She said every day. No way. No way she's doing it every day. I think she's pulling your guy's legs. No way. <laughs> I'm going to get some water in here. We all talked about these, but no time that I know of. Oh, no, she didn't give a specific time yet. Well, I have a screw on the side here, too. I don't know if you noticed it. Can you see? I put a little screw right here on the end. Oh, ring of the bell to get noticed. Oh, I never, I ring the bell, but I never, I never get noticed. <laughs> I put little seashells in here too. Do you see that? I don't really want to get it on top of the seahorse. I want to go in with, um, with her uh, dark chocolate paint. Let's get in here with the cardboard. I 
wish I had done this straight. When I put it on, it was straight, and then I didn't notice that it slanted. <laughs> Too late. Can't do anything about it. I'll worry about the back later. Bye-bye to the diver. Bye-bye. <laughs> I have to make sure uh, notifications. Oh, like I said, I never get the notifications. I don't know why that is. I think I get them on like Google, but then I never check Google. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get on the inside of that because I should paint that before, but. Maybe some of it. So I don't want to paint all of the brush, but some of it. Janet, oh, I just showed your happy mail. Thank you very much. You always do the envelopes so cute. A little cute little owl napkin. It was very cute. Yeah, I can't wait to use some of those circles. I'm going to use them, of course, on a mermaid theme type thing. <laughs> So I can't decide whether I should leave these and then just do like a whole bunch of different paint brushes or if I should I'll try to get inside here. Or if I should put them on canvas or not. What do you think? And here I want to get some of those bubbles. I don't want to go too dark inside. I hate to cover up that green one, but we'll we'll bring it back with the patina. <laughs> now I bought these paints of hers and never used them. I have to be careful with that one. You're away from the chat. Okay, April. <laughs> You'll have to go back and look, Janet. I showed my mermaid um, prompts that I did. I did two. I'm going to try to do them all month, but I can't promise. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I have to be careful with this one because this is still wet. <laughs> Shauna. I watched Shauna a little bit yesterday. She's been doing some really nice uh, journal pages. If you don't watch Shauna. Saturday afternoon, it's hard for me because we usually are cleaning or doing something else or ah, hope that sticks. And I don't want to get this. Um, did I get it? I 
because I want you to be able to see the stickles on there. So I'm going to try not to um, try not to get it. I have to go in here a little bit. I might need a smaller brush. Mm. Oh, yeah. I love that wing. That was the one girl on Finnebar's team who did the wing like that. It was, it was really good. All right. Like I said, I should have put a piece of tape on this probably. All right, I think I've got everything covered. So I'll go in here a little bit. I'm just gonna get down in there. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to dry that and dry this a little bit. So I'm going to get my heat gun. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> that pink one's a little hard to um, cover. That um, new mold place to where I got the... Um, the new molds are called Zuri, Z-U-R-I designs. Um, just like this. Um, they've got a hummingbird. They've got some really, they have about 15 or 16 different designs. I'm trying to think what the other ones are. I think they have another butterfly. Oh, I didn't show Eileen the bug. I wound up doing the bug. I need a um, paper towel. Let's see, I think I have the bug one here. Let me just check. There's a butterfly and then a bug. Did I bring it? Oh, I might not have brought it out. Oh, I'll have to show it to you next time. I didn't I didn't pull it out. All right, I'm gonna put my heat gun on. So heat gun. Did you guys watch the scrapbooking one? I didn't watch that one yesterday. I think I might have watched Finn's for a little bit.
Kathy? <laughs> I was just showing them my mermaid. Um, you'll have to go back and look. I did three days of mermaid so far. Um, like I said, uh, Jane's on every day on Facebook at eight, showing her uh, her different mermaids that she's doing. She's going along with the prompts. And I put the prompts. She has it on her blog, too. So you can always check out her blog if you don't want to go to Facebook. All right. So... So I think we're going to save this one. We'll have to save this one for next week. I think I don't think we'll have time to do both. So I want to put a little brown on the seahorse and then wipe it back. So let's try that. I hope you do at least a couple, Kathy. I want to see yours. You're always so good. So I'm thinking this is going to be kind of like Antonio's paste, Eileen. Or um, you can put it on and then wipe some of it off. That's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> I think I need to get the little one. I need the other one. Yeah, they have a whole thing on Instagram, Mermaid 2020. or mer Yeah, Mermaid 2020. So this is what I'm thinking. I want to, because the gold is pretty bright, and we don't want it really that bright. I don't really want to, like I said, I don't want to lose my little watch parts. So I just want to get this in the crevices. On and off, right, Eileen? Yeah. So you can see the difference between that. Now it's not as bright as this. So you just want to get it down into the grooves part. Did anybody else do any of these paintbrushes? I think they're really cool. I'll we'll just put a little bit on here. I'll put a little bit on the diver. Leave it on for a minute before you wipe it off. Yeah, it dries pretty quick, this paint. Her paint, I don't know if it's because it's old, but yeah, kind of like when you put it on, it's like almost already dry. That one's not really on there quite yet. I'm just gonna add a little brown everywhere. Can you see? I wish I could bring you down lower, but I can't. Maybe I can put them on top of here so you can see it. All right, so that's kind of our first layer. Let me see if I put it up on top of these. You'll be able to see it better. Oops. It's a little bit closer anyway. There we go. What I'm going to do with those paintbrushes when they are finished. The paintbrushes I, I saw a girl she did was she took like four or five paintbrushes and made that the gown of her girl and then put a girl. So I'm thinking about when my paintbrushes are ratty like that. I'm going to put a whole bunch of them and make that like her dress and uh, and do that. All right. So let's dry this just a little bit. Pecan. All right, um, 
So let's see. So we should go with, I think I'm going to go in with this yellow first. So this is part of her patina rust effect. This is gold rush. Then this one is, um, what color is this one? Red rush. And then there's the brown. So I think we'll go in with this gold one first. Hi, baby. <laughs> Oh, I love your alcohol prints that you did the other day. Now see how old this is old. Look how watery that is. That's not supposed to be like that. Uh, let's see. Do I have something to mix it with? I really need like a, a chopstick or something. Mm. There we go. See how watery? That's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be kind of like pasty. I guess it's better watery than dried out. <laughs> it should be more like a texture paste. It's pretty liquid. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to open up the big jar. I really didn't want to open that one up. It's a little bit better. Okay, let's see. I wish I would have brought some paper towels. I didn't bring any up. All right, let's see. I'm going to go in with this yellow, and then we'll come in with, um, oh, I don't like why that's turning green. Can you see it's turning like a greenish? It's so liquidy. It really is supposed to be more, um, more like a paste. Another dinner ready. <laughs> Poor Patty. That's like Jimmy now that Gabby's home. That she likes certain things and I like certain things. And so <laughs> he's like making two or three meals sometimes. Let me see what that other one looks like. Remember, this one's not fully dry yet. All right. There we go. More than the last couple of months in a long time. I think that's everybody. <laughs> All right, so let's give this a quick dry. We'll see what this red one looks like. Oh, he come. <laughs> Break this up. 
All right. So I want to scrape some of this so that you could still see the little stars in there. Let's scrape some of this gesso off. Ah, it's not quite dry yet. I don't know if you can see that it has a little tiny star in the little bubble there. All right, so let's see now. That's that one. Let's see if this is any better. So this is the red rust. Oh, yeah, this is much better. See, this is what it's supposed to look like, more like a paste. Then um, we need a little stipple brush for this. So I'm going to put some out on on here so this will like make it look more like a sand type thing I'm just gonna stick some out here Let's see what that looks like I'm going to have to probably put this down only because um, it's too hard to work like that. I'll bring it up closer when we get, I get it to you. Oh my gosh, all our Australian pictures are coming up. And because um, we were there two years ago, Janet, myself, and um, CB. And they're all coming up in my feed. <laughs> How are you guys doing over there? has jumped up. Two years has just gone by so quick. everything's good that's good yeah you love seeing the pictures me too it was fun visiting all the animals and feeding the kangaroos and the koalas <laughs> so cool there Well, except the ducks. <laughs> Poor CB, she was getting attacked by the ducks. <laughs> it was fun. We get to try. That was the day we tried the meat pies with Jen, wasn't it? That was fun. Would you like to have one of those meat pies now? <laughs> Yeah, they were good. Oops, I forget that that one's not dry yet. Doc 
ducks were chasing her all around. She couldn't get away from them. <laughs> Okay, so that's what we have so far. You can see, starting to look cool. When we put the waxes on there, it'll be really cool. All right, so now I want to get a little bit of the brown, I think. Do I have enough in there? This is why I had to put it down, because you have to really scrub on here now. So it's not like, in, I don't know how those girls did it when it was wet. <laughs> Um, Finnabar's uh, girls. <laughs> you were out of food and they were chasing you. <laughs> Poor CB. So let's, that's to try a little bit. So let's put the heat gun on that. Let's take some of this paint off. And heat gun. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. And then the girls left, Janet and CB left. And then I went on to uh, to get ready to take Jean's class. So I have these little micro beads too we can put on there. All right, so now we need the brown. So that's this one. I don't have that brown in a small, so I'm gonna have to do it in this bigger one. Oh, thanks, Devon. This is a little watery too. Should be more like the paste, like the rest, the rest one was. But we should be able. To, this will be all right. So what I'm trying to do is just get a little bit of brown on there. I still want to not cover up too much. I want some of that orange and gold to show through. I think I'm gonna put some of those beads in there. Cause I wanna put the beads inside here. So I really kind of just wanna get the, um, the outside of it kind of brown. I want all that inside to still stay. And then we'll, then we'll make it pop with the um, with the waxes when we get ready to put that on there. <laughs> Ken? Yeah, a little bit under there. I want to wipe some of that off. There we go. A little bit of brown in here. 
So I like the gold in that. You can see two eyes. <laughs> there we go. So just enough gold seeping through there, but when we put the other wax on there, it'll be good. All right, I want to um, add a couple of these in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to be able to do it with the paste. So let's see. I'm just going to stuff some. And then I'm just going to... I'll add some of these bigger ones. When we get the wax in there, you'll be able to see all those little stones. Let's pour a couple in there. Oops, a little too much. I'm going to wipe some of this off. Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> I think maybe I'll add a couple more beads down in here. Let's see. I'll put them on here. over that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's tuck that in there. All right, I think we're done with that. We'll dry this and then we'll put the waxes on. Is stuck in there. 
need to do an album of our oh well photos i haven't done that either i have them all put aside but not like in a, in a little a special album <clears throat> all right so let's try this on the stones. I feel I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> All right. We're done with these. Now, I also have these paints. So... Before we do the waxes, let's do this. Let's see. These are Finn's um, spark paints. So this one is Dragon Eye. This one is uh, Steampunk Copper. What else? I thought I had a ginger one. Let's see, this is why I don't want the recipes. We're done with that. Where is my ginger one? <clears throat> Oh, this is it, ginger. So you see, it's kind of like an orangey pink. So I want to use this one for the mermaid. I have this blue, it's, you can't see it's got blue and green in it. And I like this color here. This one is uh, mermaid sparkle. Of course we have to use that one. It looks more blue on the screen, but it's like a minty green. <clears throat> so we'll use those on the the mermaid. All right, so I think I think I'm going to go in here with some of this. This one's a dragon's eye. If I can open it, we'll leave that away. There we go. And I've had these, I can't even tell you how long when they're still good. Yay. All right. So, so let's see what this, ooh, can you see how bright that is? Oh my gosh, that's bright. <laughs> see how bright that is? Right there. So that's this one here. It has a lot of sparkle and shimmer to it. Can you see that? Use that for his belly part. I really need a paper towel. Well, it's just too wet. Hold on. Let's see if I can find one. Let's just use this. Wow, that's really sparkly. I'm just going to kind of brush over that. Can you see how sparkly that is? Yeah, it's very bright. <laughs> Hi, Safia. How are you? Uh, I don't want to take away all the color. So let's just see. I'm going to go in some of these. It's like almost feels looks like it's got like glitter in it. It's cool. Let's 
That's very sparkly. <laughs> Doing good, thank you. Let's see. It really works nice on the chipboard. Oops, that wasn't quite dry yet. Need a little glue. What happened? Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Not quite dry yet. There we go. You need your waxes now. All right. I want to see what the ginger one looks like. Go in here. Put in a little. On him. So when we go over it with the um, with the waxes, we'll see what that looks like. Oh, I really like that. It's very sparkly. All right, so that was that one. Let's try the ginger one. Oh, and I'm going to get some squirts um, for this store because I want some. Um, I didn't know I could um, order the squirts. So I am going to get some magicals um, and see what they're like because I've seen people use them. So um, this is another sparkly one. It almost looks the same. It's got a more orangey uh, tint to it. So, um, yeah, so I'll get some, some of that in. Wow, I've never used these paints before, and I have so many of them. They're really nice. I've got so much shine to them. Wow, that's nice. Which of the paints is this? This one is called Sparks. It's got a lot of sparkle to it, that's for sure. This one I'm getting for the store because um, I know the girls used it on a lot of them use it. So this is the ginger one. So I am going to get that one for the store. Can you see how sparkly? It's almost like you're painting with glitter. Oh, it's really, I guess that's why they call it sparks. <laughs> Can you see how shiny that is? This would be good paint for um, good paint for my furries. Wow, that is really nice. Let's get down into the grooves, like. Where you can't really get in there. It's nice. All right. That's enough of that. Hi, hi Jackie. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen Jackie's, uh, she did a whole thing yesterday, um, too. She was jelly printing. She has a really nice combination. All right. So there's where we are right now. So I think what we need, let's dry this. I think what we need to do is bring in some of the matte wax. Maybe we'll bring in the black. Where is that one? Charcoal black. Let's try that one. Hey, 
Hey, Devon. <laughs> Just look so close to see all the little pieces that are in there, you know? Like the little jellyfish, you don't really notice. I love the diver. we got to bring the diver out a little bit more. And I love the seashells. They came out really good. I'll have to add some more of these little things in here. Can you see how sparkly that is? Can you see right there on the brush how it just glitters? It's really nice. You have to see the matte waxes, yes. You don't have any of those, Joyce, the matte ones? You have just the other one. All right, so let's see. So where shall we dull it down? Like it's maybe down in here. I'm just going to use my fingers. So let's see. This is more like a gray blue. It says it's black, but to me, it's more like a gray. I have to see where I put these. These are like really soft. Gosh, I love that paint. I'm going to have to get out all those paints that I have of hers. I didn't realize how sparkly they are. So I really want to bring um, the seahorse because everything is kind of just mismatched now. So I really want to get the seahorse like popping out. So let's see. I think I need a little brush, a little more one than that. I want to get down in here. Back again? <laughs> I'm back, Patty. He's back. He's back too. These really are nice. I think I'm going to do is um, hang them through the nail. Like you can't see there's a hole there, but I think I'm going to display them. Like I have one wall that's like um, like 12. It's just rectangular. I think they would be cool scattered on the um, scattered on there. Just paintbrushes and not the canvas part. So this one is the matte one, so it'll dull some of that um, sparkle. We have a lot of sparkle going on, <laughs> which I don't mind. So I just want to try to get him to pop out a little bit more. So it looks so pretty good so far. I think we might need some silver in here. A little jellyfish, so cute. So you don't really notice there's a little jellyfish, there's the diver, these are the little clock gears. I'll put a little something on this. There we go. So 
that's looking pretty good so far. So I think I'm going to <clears throat> go in with some, I think some silver. Let's try silver. Because I got a lot of gold in here. So let's see. There's vintage gold. Uh, there's brushed iron. I think the white gold. Let's try the white gold. Can't even tell it's a paintbrush, just a little bit, <laughs> which is nice. Just by the bristles. And when I hang them up, you can actually see. Here, let me flip this over so it's messy. So there, you can see that's better. All right. So mm, I think I want more silver. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> Getting crazy storms? Oh, no. I think I'm going to go with that. Let's try this. What's the vintage silk like? <clears throat> no, too white. Let's try this one. Let's try this. Because it kind of goes with the black, because it's like charcoal-y, kind of. I just want to own here and there. I really like to get it on just the spokes part. If I can get it just on... It's not really shiny, this silver. I don't know if that's a good thing. I think maybe a little bit more sparkle to it. Let's see if we can get our little... Yeah, I want a little bit more, something more sparkly. Okay, Carrie. Okay, Carrie Ann. All right, I do want a little bit more sparkle, so let me try the white gold. We have like silver, we've got the charcoal. There, now it's starting to stand out a little bit more, I think. I didn't put the little fish in this one.
There we go. You see that? Depending whether it needs anything else, <coughs> what do you think? That brown rust has like a little texture to it, so it really looks nice on there. Thanks, Dorothy. I can't do these little stones yet because they're too um, too wet still. Oh, I think I'm liking it. Oh, thanks, Barry. So I think, I think we got it all in there. I really like the sparkle paints. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I like those. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Chewy C. Lickable and lickable. <laughs> All right. So maybe I'll come on one day during the week and um, we'll do the mermaid, finish the mermaid, and this way we can start something else on Sunday. So, but yeah, I think I like it. So let me bring it back up and show it to you. I do with a little. So there we go. I really love the wing, the wing on the seahorse. You can see the gears. So you can see that's that charcoal, uh, the matte um, wax of hers, charcoal black. I love all the silver gold on there. <laughs> and there's that. And then the little diver. Oh, the little diver. Might have to bring him, I might have to sparkle him up a little bit more. Maybe put him, maybe put some more of this. Just so that we could see him better. There we go. Oh, thanks, Patty. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so I'll try to come on during the week sometime, and um, we'll finish up the mermaid one. That's cool. I love the little diver. <laughs> Great and grungy. Thank you, Eileen. So have a good week. Hopefully I'll see you sometime in the middle of the week. <laughs> and then next Sunday we'll do, I don't know, we'll do something else. <laughs> so, so thanks, everyone, for coming. Have a great week, and then I shall see you um, next Sunday. Bye, everyone. Bye.